dear children i'm your teacher ms ikra today we are going to study an important chapter that is rocks and minerals in this very lesson we will be discussing about rocks and its various types various minerals and their uses so let's begin children rocks are everywhere if we look around us we can see rocks in our garden roadside backyards ocean floor these rocks might be thousands of years old children do you know even before existence of human beings there were rocks on our planet and these rocks lead to the formation of soil Even today we are fascinated with so many types of rocks we use them as decorative items in our homes but do we know how these rocks are formed before coming to that let me tell you what rock is rock is a naturally occurring substance that is made of mineral or mineral like substances children there are three types of rocks igneous rock sedimentary rock and metamorphic rock let us first discuss about igneous rock igneous word has been derived from a latin word ignis which means fire igneous rocks are also called as magmatic rocks they are the oldest known rocks on this earth look at the picture here as we know at the deepest of earth there is magma magma is made of molten rocks when the magma flows out from the earth on the surface of earth due to volcanic eruptions they come out on the surface of earth this magma will now be called as lava when lava cools down and solidifies it gives rise to igneous rocks so these igneous rocks play a very important role in our life we have different types of igneous rocks formed either on the surface or inside the surface so the rocks which are formed on the surface of earth they will be called as extrusive igneous rocks children do you know sometimes magma is not able to come out and settles below the surface of earth such igneous rocks takes thousands of years to cool down and they are called as intrusive rocks children we have four types of igneous rocks that is obsidian pumice basalt and granite first we will be discussing about obsidian obsidian is a glassy rock it has sharp edges and this very particular type of rock is important in making tools and ornaments coming to pumice pumice is a very light rock it is the only rock which floats on water it has many holes on its surface due to the trapping of gases in it which gives it a rough texture pumice is used as body scrubber dentists use it in powdered form for polishing teeth and it's also used for polishing furniture let me talk to you about basalt basalt is a mainly popular for construction purpose basalt is usually grayish black in color granite is a very hard rock granite is mainly used for construction purpose granite as you can see it comes in different colors 
in construction purpose we can use it as monument we can use in constructing buildings children you can see here in the picture there is a very famous monument mount rushmore this monument is made up of granite rocks coming towards the second type of rocks that is sedimentary rocks do you know children how this type of rock is formed sedimentary rocks as you know over the period of time what happens due to the running water and strong winds the small existing rocks on the surface of earth are broken down into smaller fragments these smaller fragments are then taken away by running water to the river lakes and finally settle down at the bottom of sea now these fragments will be called as sediments over the period of time many layers of sediments will be formed and due to the coming next layer there is pressure exerted on the lower layers of the sediments and due to this pressure what happens the lower layers get compressed compact together they get fused together harden to form sedimentary rocks children we have different types of sedimentary rocks also the first very type of sedimentary rock is sandstone sandstone is popular for construction purpose as you can see in the picture sandstone the very famous red fort in delhi is made of this rock sandstone rock coming to conglomerate conglomerate is mainly used as flooring and filling material for road constructions talking about the another type that is uh, limestone do you know limestone is a very soft rock and this limestone is used for making cement and glass children do you know that the chalk which we use in our classrooms is actually a limestone rock yes talking about shale shale has a grain texture a beautiful grain texture that is mainly used as roofs and tiles children the third very form of rocks is metamorphic rock the word itself suggests a change means a change has occurred during the formation of these type of rocks do you know children these type of rocks metamorphic rocks takes millions of years to form do you know how they are formed over a period of time what happens the existing sedimentary and igneous rocks get pushed deep below the earth surface and we all know there is tremendous heat and pressure inside the earth due to which these sedimentary and igneous rocks are changed into metamorphic rock and this process of metamorphism which we call as metamorphism means changing of one type of rock into another and the process is metamorphism of rocks we have a number of metamorphic rocks also number 1 quartzite it's made by the metamorphism of sandstone marble you know it has been made by the metamorphism of limestone if we talk about their uses quartzite is used to cover walls quartzite is also used in building constructions and so on marble if we talk about we are all well acquainted with the marble marble is also used in construction purpose 
and in making sculptures and making models the very famous taj mahal is made of white crystalline marble do you know children there is one more type of metamorphic rock that is called as gneiss gneiss is a type of rock which has been formed due to the metamorphism of an igneous rock that is granite and this type of rock is used as flooring it has a beautiful texture it has different colors so it's used in construction it is used for making grave stones or ornamental stones now children we are all familiar with each and every type of rock but have you ever thought what these rocks are made up of well think of a chocolate cookie as a rock just like the cookie is made of sugar butter flour in the same way think the cookie is like a rock and the sugar butter flour and chocolate is like mineral so what are these minerals children mineral is a naturally occurring substance which comes in pure form it is a pure naturally occurring substance found in the earth these minerals are usually found in solid state and they are not derived from living organisms the study of minerals is called as mineralogy we have different types of minerals on this earth we have calcite feldspar pyrite and rose petal as you know children that minerals are pure substances and come in only one type means their molecules are made up of only one type that is why most of the minerals exist as crystals now what are crystals crystals are special kind of solid material where the molecules fit together in a repeating pattern that is why most of the minerals come in crystal form and crystals have different shape different color texture and hardness to you know children minerals can either be found on the surface of earth that is sea salt or they can be found inside the surface of earth the example is diamond children can you guess what is shown in the picture Yes you're right they are gemstones beautifully colored stones now what are gemstones gemstones are special kind of stones which in cut and polished form can be used in jewelry or other adornments children we have number of more than 3000 types of minerals on this earth apart from all these Gemstone is a can a mineral but very precious. Examples of gemstones are topaz, ruby, diamond and opal. Among all the minerals, all the gemstones, diamond is the most precious among all. Children, you all must have heard about metals. metals play a very important role in our life do you know where from we get these metals we get metals from ores and ore is a special type of rock usually contain enough of a mineral usually metal now how can we get these metals from the ores by an important process of mining 
after performing mining we can utilize these metals in many ways we have different types of ores we have bauxite ore which is an actually aluminum ore calvarite ore gold ore we have chalcopyrite which is a copper ore and hematite and iron ore these ores also perform very important functions in our day to day life we use them in our various purposes for example we use aluminum from bauxite ore for making foils kitchen utensils and various medicines also we use gold ore for making jewelry and various statue and sculptures children we use copper ore copper ore for making electrical wires we use it in kitchen utensils also and last but not the least iron ore as you know iron is the most common metal on the earth and we know iron is used in making tools and used in various construction purpose we can use iron in fertilizers also to so, hope you enjoyed this lesson that's all for today thank you Thank you.